This is a quick video on how I fixed a problem in Windows 10 where the Windows updates would not run. The specific error message I was getting is 0x80240FFF, and if I hit the retry button, it didn't seem to matter, it would always just come back to the same error. I did read online that some folks had success by going to advanced options and putting a check mark in defer upgrades. In my case this didn't make a difference, but it's an easy enough step to try, so I would recommend starting here if you're having the same problem. So I read around on some forums about this issue, and I found it's unique to a specific build of Windows 10. You can check what build you're running by hitting the Windows key on the keyboard, and then typing in Winver, and hit enter. And you can see the build I'm running here is build 10240. Apparently this build has some kind of known issue with Windows updates, so if you're having the same problem, it's probably related to this. The way that I was able to fix it is by going out to the internet and searching for Windows 10 Media Creation Tool and just use this first link here from Microsoft. And we don't actually want the Media Creation Tool down here, we want this first link for the Update Assistant. Just go ahead and hit Update Now. And once the download finishes, just hit Run. And yes. And we can see here it says this PC is running version 10.240, the latest version is 19.09. I went ahead and hit update now. And you'll get this page that confirms your machine meets the minimum specs. And at this point it just kind of goes on autopilot for a while. There's not really a whole lot to show here, so I'm just going to fast forward through all of this. After the first phase of the update is complete, you'll get this countdown. Rather than waiting the 30 minutes, I'm just going to go ahead and hit restart now. After the machine reboots, it'll continue running updates for a while. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this as well. Alright, so at this point the update is completed. I'm going to go ahead and log back into Windows here. Unfortunately, this upgrade does make it run through that annoying initial welcome setup phase. So you'll just have to go through all the motions to get through those screens. And then it should land you back at your desktop with this thank you for updating to the latest version of Windows 10 screen. And if I exit out of that, I'm going to go back into the updates and confirm they can run now. I'm just going to hit check for updates here. And you can see now there are updates available, and they're actually downloading and installing. So at this point, the problem is resolved. So that's pretty much all there is for this video. Hit like if this helped you out, and thanks for watching.